Detour, time to talk about Steno's Laws. Well, who is Mr. Steno with his amazing hat? So Nikolaus Steno was one of the earliest geologists, and he came up with these very important rules about geology. So we are going to look at Mr. Steno's official rules. Now, this is a bit of a detour, but it's good things to know. So rule number one, originally everything was horizontal. Meaning, every single thing, as it got deposited, all these rocks, all this silt, was originally horizontal. So, and you can see that. This is like the Grand Canyon or somewhere. You can see these horizontal stripes in the ground. So, as you, everything originally was laid out horizontally. There's no, when you dump out a container of something, it's going to land, it's going to make a stack horizontally. That is rule number one. Rule number two. Oh, so an example. So at one time, so this is like a road cut, actually in the mountains around here, but you can see it's all kind of squiggly. What his original first rule means is that originally it was all flat. And over time, with the way that plate tectonics have crushed together and the mountains have formed, that original horizontally horizontality has gotten crushed and squiggled together. So it's kind of crazy to think about. Or at one point, this was all flat. And now we have mountains. Crazy. All right. Rule two is the pancake rule. So the pancake rule. When you are putting a stack of pancakes on a plate, the pancake on the bottom of the stack is the first one you put down, that one's the oldest. And as you keep stacking them up, the one on top becomes the newest. So, makes sense? If you're making a stack of pancakes, stack the pancake on the bottom is old, the pancake on the top is new. Same thing with rocks. So the rocks on the bottom, as you dig down, you're getting down to older rocks. Up on the top, those are the new, young, little, happy rocks. Those are the more recent rocks. Old. New, old, young. That is the rule too, called superposition is its official name, but really it's the pancake rule. And rule number three, cross-cutting. If something cuts through all those layers, that means that it's newer than everything. So that means that all these ones were horizontal originally, originally, and this one cut all the way through. So that is a newer thing that had, you have to, you can't cut through a sandwich unless there's already a sandwich there, otherwise you're cutting in space. You have to cut where there is a sandwich. So, those are three. So, for a puzzle, for something like this, what's the order that these things happened? So, what is the oldest? So, you might think about, all right, well, originally everything was horizontal. So, okay, so, well, let's see, nothing's really going horizontally. All right, so maybe let's think about what's the newest. Well, this big red blob cuts across the other two. That has to be the newest, because that cuts across both of them. Okay, so that's the newest. And then after that, this one is still pretty flat, still pretty horizontal. It's cutting, it's on top of these. So the gray must have been second, which means the oldest is this brown over here. This brown used to be horizontal, it used to be flat, it got bent. This gray stuff came on top of it. And then now this brown blob is coming through the middle of it. So it's a puzzle. And this is truly what, if you are a geologist, this is what you're trying to do. You're underground, you're trying to study what rocks are older, what rocks are newer. You can get even harder puzzles. Thinking about, oh, that one cuts through these, but doesn't cut through that layer. And actually, the letters are in order. So A is the oldest, then B, then C, then D, then E, and then F. Interesting. All right. An even harder puzzle. This is for geologists. If they want to be silly, they can wear silly t-shirts with cakes like this and things going between. All right. So this as well, if you see the earth, here is the layer originally horizontally. Everything was originally flat. And then over time, it gets bent. And then over time, it erodes away. So actually this, if we chopped it off, we went with a saw all the way across, it would look like this. Interesting. So geologists go, hmm, I see some rock over here and some rock over there. Wow, I bet those at one point used to connect to one another. Interesting. So here's an example. So here we are at sea level, everything's going horizontally. And then over time, it lifts up, the plates move around, and then it erodes away. So here's where it used to be, it eroded away, and then more stuff comes on top. Then the ocean falls in again. And so now we can see these kind of layers and layers. And this is all, this is what's going on inside the earth. It's layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. So there we go. One, two, three, four, forming layers. And that's, our earth is rather complicated, actually. All right. So this ends our quick detour, but now, but using that information, using that knowledge about all the different layers, that was some of what Alfred Wegener and other people were looking at when they're trying to determine what's going on in the earth. How do we know about plate tectonics? So he was able to compare, wow, there's the same stripes in South America, and India, and Africa, and Australia, and all these different places have these same layers of rocks. So using that knowledge, these ones down here are older, and if they're the same older rocks in all these different continents, they must have been connected. Something had to happen. 
All right, so I shall now leave you to continue the rest of the presentation without my narration.